a tiny food. We have a DIY candy kit. This is a crazy, 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 uh, popping, cooking, kitchen ramen DIY candy kit. And uh, so, as far as I can tell, the uh, instructions online for this, um, there's a newer one out. So, the one for this online uh, doesn't quite exist anymore. I did try to scan the QR code and uh, when you go to that particular website, um, this one's not showing up anymore, so that's my life. But that's okay, I've got my handy dandy translator here, and uh, I'm sure that will be uh, totally good. So, first things first, let's make life a little easier by making this flat so that the uh, instructions can be translated properly. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a good side of trim, trim, trim. All right. There we go. And we got. Oops. Okay. Alright, so this one is a ramen kit, so I'll be making ramen and some little box sticker type of things um, as well, and then a little bit of uh, decorative nummies for the ramen itself. There's a little egg and a little, it's, um, so normally this is a cracker. And then you could have a half an egg in your ramen. I'll say you can have a half an egg. I I prefer not to have a half an egg in my ramen. I just like the ramen as it is. Um, and then this is either supposed to be. I mean, it would make more sense for it to be little um, little chives or onion type of thing. Um, but it looks a little more like peas. And then I think this is supposed to be a pork and uh, either bean or pea buns again so um but this one is a particularly neat i've done this one before it's it's nice uh so we have our little fork handy tool um we have a blue one that uh got the noodles on it so that's probably a mix for the noodles uh we've got one that looks like it's got a, a little sauce around there 
my lighting situation is not quite what it is. The other lamp is missing in action at the moment, so. Apologies. And then this is the fillings. So this is, here we go. Uh, this is meant to go inside our little dumplings. And what do we have here? So we have here, this is, this is, um, this sheet is fulfilling multiple purposes. It's both giving us size of, uh, the different things. Uh, and it's also going to be used to help us shape the noodles. So I'll put it away there. And then, oh, this is... <laughs> okay, so this one's a little older, so this is going to break hard. I don't know what this is supposed to be, so, uh, we'll find out, I'm sure. Alright, and then a toothpick. And then our actual tray. So we've got a musical note in a bowl, and a star in another bowl over here. And then we've got our egg and cracker shape. And this is a little thing to um, shape the actual uh, the dumplings here. So I'm going to cut those guys out as well. Now I've seen uh, a couple of these kits. I think, I think one of the earliest ones of these I ever did was this kind of kit, actually. Um, I, I don't remember to be sure, don't quote me on that. But uh, I think many, many years ago when we were doing um, maybe Tokyo Crate uh, was where we first were introduced to these, possibly. Uh, I think it was one of these type of kits, where it was a ramen or something like that. And uh, I was surprised because um, one, the noodles really look like ramen noodles, and two, while it, it doesn't taste like ramen noodles, it tastes like candy, uh, it is very flavorful and, and yummy. Um, if I remember correctly, the one I had, the ramen soup, the like the broth itself, tasted like cola, and uh, I don't remember what the noodles were flavored as, but sure we'll figure it out. Alright, so here's our bowl. And then let's cut out this pattern. So a lot of times I, I, I have a little baggie and I like to save my uh, utensils for some of these because sometimes the... Like it usually only comes with some, like one. Like this is getting a toothpick and as well as... Oh, in the baggie. This is this is multiple items of of tools this time, so that's pretty cool. Usually, you only wind up with um, like the shovel, and maybe sometimes you're cutting out one of these, and it has a little cup for how much water to add to something. Um, which actually reminds me, there's no measurement of the cups here, so I wonder how much water. It's probably going to be to a fill line. So if there's not a cup, it's usually to a fill line. So like, see how that's edged along the bottom there. That's probably just fill to this much type of thing. Alright. So should probably have started with the instructions, but like I said, I have done this one before. Uh, so this will save us a little time as we're going with the instructions. Get my stuff aside here. Well, it's these are fun, but not necessarily eco-friendly. There's a lot of plastic waste going on here. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I do actually have the the other version of the ramen kit as well, but um, it has a couple different things. For instance, it, it has this, and it has this, and obviously it has the ramen, um, but it also has a different um, variation of, you know, putting the dumpling together, and then it also has um, a cola drink, and uh, I think it has, is that it? That might be, that's, I guess we'll see when we do that one. So we're going to start with getting some information on this main section here of what we're making. I'm gonna scan it, translate it. Just thinking about it. 
All right, so let's make and eat it. This is Puppin' Cooking Fun Ramen Shop. It says it's a real joke. And it says that it's classy. Yeah, it's maybe trying to say classy or classier. This says, uh, mm, stimulates creativity and intellectual confectionery. It's another word for candy. Uh, ramen, it tastes like cola. And it says, do sof collage. I don't know what that means. Naruto egg. So that's just um, you know, stuff to eat. Um, gyoza is soda and cola. So probably the two different flavors we got going on is soda and cola. Um, so when a lot of these snacks say soda, they may need a particular kind of soda that they sell in Japan that's, or, or you know, I can get at Asian grocery stores as well, um, but it's called um, Ramun, and so it's like, it's almost like, a, like, that's, that's flavor, right? Like, you can also get, like, ramen, but not, it's not ramen, it's ramu, ramune, um, and it tastes like it tastes, and not like anything else. I don't know how to explain it. Um, it, it is its own unique flavor. So it says Costa and cola flavor. Um, it says snapping, dumpling type. We will ring it to make it. Let's make it in between. This is water only, slovenly. Uh, maybe it means messy. Uh, the illustration is an image. The finished sweets are not included in this product. There are no containers in this product. Well, that's not true. What is this if not a container? What is this if not a container? Uh, this one just says to sleep. I guess we're going to take a nap after, so that's fine. Preservative, synthetic colorant, zero. Oh, it doesn't have any synthetic colorants. That's nice. Um, and then, let's see. It didn't get quite the whole side over here, so I'm going to take another shot. But yeah, so that's what we're making. And then... Let's see what all this says. Oh my, let's see. Is this too small? Alright, I'm gonna have to take a picture of a time here. Get in a little closer. Here we go. Okay. So it says, for instructions on how to make it, uh, basically, you know, what I was saying before you go to that website. Um, so this is close knit. Let's make a charisu and naruto. Um, I guess that's trying to say let's make ramen and dumplings. Um, so method of making, let's drain water. That means we'll need water. Uh, wipe your hands clean on the table before you make it. Okay. It just means, it means to wash your hands, so I've washed my hands, and I do have my handy dandy cups of water here. Uh, okay, so it says, let's make dumplings. Tear the candy and separate the Naruto and eggs according to size. Oh, so I guess this is the Naruto? Um, is that what those crackers are called? Um, according to size guide of the squeezed skull, which I can only imagine is this mistranslating the um, word for mold, I guess? Um, candy mold? And then this says the back of the scrub bring skull. I guess this thing. <laughs> candy is sticky. You can do it well with a little heat. So it's probably saying I have to like Squish it, squish it, squish it for a bit first. Um, divide the remaining candies into two pieces and spread them out according to the size guide on the squeeze dumpling. Um, the squeeze goes on. So I think it means this guy said. So I'll start here. So it wants two little ones for these guys, and then two larger ones for those guys. Oh my goodness, it's like impossible to open. This. So hopefully. This isn't too dried up. Oh, it's gonna take a little work, but it is—it is still soft. It's just—it's 
like a bit like a starburst maybe. You add a little older starburst. I wonder if I add a little. This is just gonna get sticky right away. I also have a paper towel for when I need that. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Tear and separate the nitrogen goes and put it into the size guide on the scalp. So, is that too big? But a little too big. This is very small. Mm. So I've done this before with one that hasn't been hanging out while I've been recovering from surgery to uh, wait for me to use it. Um, and that one is, uh, the, the candy is a little easier to mold. It is always very a stiff, uh, it's a relatively stiff um, thing to work with because like I said it's, it's uh, it's like a starburst almost. Um, it's not quite the same as a starburst, but it's, like if you're thinking of that texture, you're about right. I need a little more than this. An excellent job of just making it stickier to handle. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Alright, and then it kind of says to you know, use the mold. So let's do that. Oh, it's so sticky. I did this to me. Okay. <laughs> it's so sticky now. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> okay, here we go. I've made a terrible decision. Now we know. Don't try to make it stick here. Ugh. But hopefully we'll never have this one again. Well, that the old, an old version of this one again. There's newer ones of this. I just wanted to do this version because I haven't courted me doing this version. And I had this one last one left. Okay, so these are ready to go. They're going to hang out over there. Uh, and then remaining into two. We're almost out of fridges. Okay. It says in my bowl for a moment. Ah! Getting everything sticky. Right. So I'm working this to make it work. Oh, it's so sticky. <laughs> All right, let's see here. It's working. It's just taking a sweet time. <sighs> go, go, go. I can't wait to wash my hands after this. Oh my goodness, it's so sticky. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to flatten it out to that area. I don't want to actually put it on the bag though because I know it's just going to be insanely sticky if I do that. So, let's wiggle it out here. I actually have like spare packs of this type of thing. I just don't know if I have this color. So, not a ton, but basically I, I have a, um, one of these candies I have, like I opened the box, I'm ready to 
uh, you know, do a DIY, and then I didn't have time to finish it, but it was one of the ones where it was like, basically you have a whole bunch of these, and you get to play them like Play-Doh, where you can make fun shapes with them and all that jazz. So, I was like, well, now I have that handy in case I run into a problem. <laughs> I don't even want to go digging through my candy uh, box because I don't want to get everything all sticky. It's very sticky. Right. It's getting there. It is getting there now. I don't know if you can see. But yeah, see what it is is we're going to put this in there and then we're going to fill it with a filling and close the mold kind of like a clamshell and it's going to press close with all these little ridges in there. And, uh, in theory, <laughs> it should stay closed. Let's see, let me just have a, try a new image. Oh, it made me retake my image here. Oh, with my sticky fingers. Let's see here. Okay. To do this is Japanese and I'm trying to get to go to English. There we go. Let's tear the candy apart and separate the eggs. Slide them in candy into the dumpling shaped can. Well, mold here. Uh, place it on top to make a dent. Fill the ingredients in the hollow and put them in so they don't spill. It's done. Chew it up. Unmold and finish. Make two of them. Alright, so I've got one going on here. Alright, so I'm gonna gently, so it doesn't break, get it to press into these depressions. Stay. Alright, and then it says to take the ingredient pack, which over here. Hmm. 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 There we go. Alright. So, before we cut it, we can see what the ingredients pack says it says of. This is Ramen Shop ingredient. It's a it's a hack sizzling, it says. Well, all right then. Okay. Let's see here. All right, so we're gonna open that guy up. Open it up. There we go. <laughs> now it says to put a little bit on either side. I think when I've done this in the past, I've had a little more success if I fill mostly one side. 
and then um, smoosh it together like that because doing it this way eh, mixed results let's say I think too if I do a little water along the edge here it's probably gonna seal against itself better like a real needle Ooh. get it down in there okay There we go. It's actually a good looking number. We're going to put it in the little tray. Put you there for now. Alright, so I'll make the other one in a little bit. Let's try one of the other parts. To make. Let's see. Let's start working on the ramen. So over here, it's just saying what, um, you know, how you're cutting things out there. And then let's make the ramen. Add water to the line next to the tray. So we will take our ramen bowl. And I probably have, yes. So somewhere in here. Ah, uh -huh, it's my squeezy bottle. So this came in one of the kits, and it is of the best for filling to the line. So I'm very fond of this squeezy bottle as a tool. I feel like every kid I've had since getting the squeezy bottle has made good use of the squeezy bottle. Alright, and then it also wants me to fill Oh, this guy to the line, so we'll do that too. All together now, all together now. And what's nice too is that if I overfill a little bit, um, this tool can help me take some out again too. Put that back where it goes. Hate to lose that. All right, so it says add, our, add water to the line next to the tray with the music note. So we got that. And put soup no moto in it. Add water to the line next to the tray with the star. And then you put men no moto in it and mix it up and down. Mix it up and down. Okay. And then it says he stuck a toothpick inside and out the corner of the scrubbing back large red book. What? This thing, this thing, and this thing. Okay, we're preparing that as next. And then it says twist over, go back, go back, to go back, twist over, and that's it. Turn back over, then I, I put my nomad in and filled it in the bag. Hold down the twist and squeeze it. Sprinkle Mendomoto in the soup and squeeze it out. As time goes by, the noodles will change. How much time? Perhaps you need a better picture for that. Let's see. One minute. Okay. One minute. Well, we can deal with one minute. All right. So one of these gets. All right. So one of these gets men no moto, and one of them gets. So I think this one goes into the soup, and this one is the noodles. By the pictures, that would be the indicator. But just for safety, I will take the translation as well. So this says, land ape. What does it say? Do well, land ape. Soup stock from the ramen shop. And then this one says, please look at the package for how to make it. Ramen and Sashio, the source of noodles. Dear Wu Jinja. Alrighty, so that, that's correct. That is in fact what we wanted. So, this is the soup. 
gonna mix the soup into the ramen, right? Soup into the ramen, yeah. Need my scissors. Alright. Gathering up my bits of trash so I can throw them away nicely. It looks like sand in the water, like beach sand. Alright. And I do believe I am supposed to start, so here's me stirring it up. I feel like I'm blocking it no matter where I hold it. There we go. Now that looks like ramen broth, that's for sure. Mmm, it tastes like cola. One of the ones I had with this uh, had stickers in it too to you know, make it so that the, uh, the bowl was decorated like this. But I've, I've only seen that the one time. I'm wondering if they just didn't do it after that. Uh, so this is the noodles. Goopy, goopy, goopy. Now this looks like a runny egg. Or like a, the yolk for a runny egg. It does not smell like it. It certainly doesn't taste like it. That is what it looks like at the moment. Which is really neat because while this is gross looking, to me anyway, I'm not one for eggs, um, when you put it in the soup, it looks completely different. So we'll see that in a minute. So, basically what we're doing is making an extremely tiny pastry bag. So, I don't know if you can see that, but it's basically saying use the poking stick here to poke a hole in the bottom of the bag in the corner, like so. And I'm going to pull it through. And that is literally all you needed that, um, uh, the toothpick core, so had fun there. Right? And now you're gonna roll this back. This is also how you do, like if you're cutting ice. Like say you wanted to decorate some cupcakes and you didn't have um, an icing bag, you can just do this with a plastic bag and put your icing in the bag there and poke a little hole in the bottom and then you're able to use it as a decorator, it is not nearly as stable as a true uh, piping bag. So, you know, be cautious with the amount of pressure you're putting on it, but it does work in a pinch. I've used it many a time. Yep. Okay. So. Okay, so it looks like that, right? Again, looks like I have a runny egg yolk. <laughs> right? There's some back. <laughs> and then you take it and you close it up. You can twist it off if you want, but mine is kind of alright as it is, I think. Yeah. Right. Well, that does work better anyway. Right. And then you're just kind of, kind of like, as one long thing. Start dropping lengths of it into the soup. Occasionally stopping and starting. Usually like I'll, I'll start it somewhere and do a circle and come back around to it and let go. See better on this side. 
start and stop and start stop start stop and you can see right away I don't know how well you can see it the camera should be a little closer for next time I think um, but uh, as this enters the water it is actually um, it's not gooping back together it's keeping this noodly shape that we've got going on here. And if you do it fast, you get kind of that classic ramen noodle uh, wiggliness as opposed to a more straight noodle. Like a spaghetti noodle. It doesn't really look like it as you're going along, but eventually you, you are able to get all of it in there. Oh, there's some hiding in there. We need all the noodles. There we go. Alright. So the instructions say to let that sit for a minute, which is fine because we still have one more dumpling to make. <clears throat> so tempted to just go get a Starburst. I don't have any. <laughs> but this is like it, having a having that situation where you're like, oh, I've got a Starburst. I want to make a Starburst pizza or something like that. You crush it up. Oh, it's a little dried out. This is going to take all day. Alexa, start a one minute timer, please. One minute, one minute. Thank you, dear. Alright. That's yeah, working a little bit better this time. I don't feel like I'm getting completely covered in it at least. could do is this. <laughs> Give it some strength. Strength. It's almost. Alexa, stop please. Can you stop oh. Can you say anything? Alexa, stop please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What do you got there? Okay. Can you do it? Let's see. Uh, almost. If I had a rolling pin, that's going even faster. <laughs> I guess it. this is not normally <laughs> take the extreme Herculean the efforts I'm making it out to be. Um, the the dough is usually a little soft. <laughs> my dried out one here. All right, now where's the rest of my toppings here? 
Here we go. So this time I'm just going to mostly put it on one side. Whoa! Oh, you know what? I was supposed to put this in here, wasn't I? As well. looking one either. Okay. Not as nice as the first one. First one has pretty good form, but it'll be just as delicious. Oh crap. So, this stuff to the side here. Dumpling packet. Oh, I almost forgot these guys. So we're down here. What does it say? Whoa. Alright, down here it says. Just thinking about it. Alright, divide it, press the candy, make the Naruto and egg. Oh, I think I was supposed to save a little of this for the egg. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. There's some left in the bowl, though. There we go. That properly looks like an egg. On the egg. So, now we can drop our egg in. And it looks like I'm meant to do something similar with this guy. So, let's see. There's enough left over in here. Yeah, there's enough, I think. At least to get the general idea. There we go. Now I've also seen it too where the ramen thing is just like stick them in the water and it'll uh, give that appearance. So there we go. But yeah. so there's ours. There's theirs. And I want to show you these lovely noodles. Doesn't that look just like ramen? And like I said, it doesn't actually taste like ramen. Uh, but let's find out what it does taste like. And here I'll read the... I see, I'm not reading all the ingredients. Um, let's see, this says it has milk and gelatin in it. Make sure to make according to the recipe. Do not heat in the microwave. Please don't eat it as is, so you're not supposed to just eat the powdered packets. Um, please be careful not to bite or swallow the fork or the toothpick. Good. Uh, be careful not to stab your fingers, throats, or eyes with the toothpick. Also good. Please note that the tip of the 
cut tree is pointy. This is very true, it is pointy. Um, please eat big snacks at once, cutting them into small pieces and chewing them well. After you enjoy making the sweets, please eat them immediately. We do everything possible with the product, but if there is an accident, please send the product to the outer bag customer consultation better. They'll pay postage and replace it. Oh, that's nice of them. It is difficult for small children to make it, so please help them. Do not use hard water because it may not work as well. Because this is this is this is a kind of kitchen science um, going on here. This is uh, you know if I just normally put you know candy goo in water, it's not going to become noodles like this. So. Um, these are particular things made a particular way to get them to come uh, together like this. So I'm going to try the dumpling first. Mmm. So even for being dried out, it's still very good. This is like... Oh look, it became like... Now it's like cooked meat looking inside oh, the light went off. Uh, Alexa lights please okay thank you <laughs> but yeah it looks like it's cooked now <laughs> that's fun mm -hmm. but yeah so good from um, I'm just trying to place the favorite I think this is Ramu player um, and then the candy inside is like a, maybe cola pop rock. And it's not, it doesn't actually pop like pop rocks, but it, it has kind of like that feel to it, uh, texturize. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to say. This one did not cook. <laughs> but that was nice too, because then I could see the peas. Mm. Oh, I should have dipped in the soup too late now. Mm. Yeah, it's in here. Very good. Now I'll have a cracker and soup. Let's see. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have my... Actually, I'll save the egg for a little bit. Mm. Try just the noodles first. So the broth is Coca-Cola flavored, um, but it doesn't have any of the bubbles, which is nice because I can't have carbonation. Um, and you can see the noodles really, whoop, really stick together properly. Like they don't stick to one another, but they like, um, they don't fall apart, I guess is what I should say. Mm. Um, nom, nom. And they're good too. I, like, I think that that this is what it is, is that, um, this is, the noodles are the Japanese sort of flavor. And then we have, uh, cola for the other ones. But they do, they go really well together. Mm. Mm -mm. It's very fun to eat. I wonder if I should sip the, sip the soup. Let's see. Oh, that tastes like it almost has bubbles. Oh, it does not, but maybe it's the combination of the pot cracks. Like, it's not actually Pop Rocks, but something about it reminds me of Pop Rocks. There's a little bit of a, maybe almost a citrusy tang to it. But like, leaves the impression of carbonation on your tongue, but without actually being carbonated. Mm. But yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. The egg. Nom, nom, nom. 
<laughs> you know, for as long as we left that egg sitting in there, it did not soak up too much of the extra moisture. Let's see. I'm getting good. Um, this camera is still working on uh, focusing at the right side. Hmm. Yep. Almost good. Oh, you can have the seasoning lift on the bottom like a proper cup of ramen. Thanks. Nice.